I'm day I'm going to have a million subscribers and I'm going to be a wolf of crypto. The wolf of crypto. It's been one week since you looked at me. Uh, it's Friday, 7.43 p.m. Eastern Time on Friday the 13th, 2017. How y'all doing out there? Huh? Y'all doing all right? Everybody's up, up, up. Making money. The secret to making money <coughs> is to keep your money moving. That's hard to say, keep your money moving. I'm gonna write a song about keeping your money moving. You have to be willing to get out there and hustle and hustle and trade and, and all this other stuff. There's so much involved in this. You can get real detailed, real analytical about every like little minute fraction of uh, some percentage of information. I mean, you can make a video. You could make a diary of videos. On one pretty much irrelevant issue. Uh, so you have to be careful about where you spend your time and your energy and where you put your mind at, and it could all add up to a bunch of nonsense that you don't really need. You know what I'm saying? So you really have to. Time management <laughs> is everything. I don't care. If, if you're not making money right this second, you're losing money. Yeah, you're wasting your life. If you're watching TV, you're you're losing money. So the object is to make money, and the easiest and fastest way to make money is to get your money working for you and keep it moving. And uh, that's my little tip of the day. Bitcoin. What did we do last night? I wrote this on Facebook. I went up to. Uh, yeah, I can't believe it, but it went up above 5,800, 50, 20, 30, 40, I don't know. 5,866 is exactly what it did. That was the high of the day, and the low was 5,372. That's a big swing. Big swing for all you swing traders. Uh, right now we're sitting at 5631 and from 24 hours ago to this point we're up three and a half percent but at this point yesterday it was pretty damn low so if we go horizontal here in a couple of minutes it's gonna be in the red even if this stays the same because it all goes back to 24 hours ago and you're so you're looking at this right here So, be careful with these 24-hour charts. They don't always represent what you're looking for. If you can complain day that. Uh, that's a volume last night, but it slipped off. If you look at the bottom of the chart with these little candles going up at certain points. And uh, down here, just follow the mouse. Um... That represents the volume. And uh, we had a lot. We had a lot on this. Uh, during this buy-in. And a little bit of a sell-off right there. And that was at. Uh, what is that? 10 o'clock. 10.40. 10.30 last night. Uh, but it shot right back up. But it didn't fall that much. It, there was a little bit of adjustment. But not too much. <coughs> Basically the same scenario backwards happened right there. And that was about 2 a.m. Eastern time. I want you folks on the West Coast getting confused and all. What am I drinking? Anna wants to know I'm drinking uh, Amsterdam gin. And watermelon iced tea too sweet 
It's gin has to be sweet because it has this kind of bitter taste. I don't know. There's not many gin drinkers out there. But, uh, the ones who know tend to go a little bit over sweet, and that's what I'm doing tonight. But it's still, it's still too sweet for my liking. But anyhow, that is Friday night. I'm good. I'm not driving. Relax, honey. I love you. Relax. Everybody's happy, happy, happy. Coinbase. A lot of trades coming out of Coinbase. Uh, if you want, by the time we're done this video, uh, we'll go check out the analysis and see where the majority of the trades are coming from. And it looks like Coinbase is monopolizing the action in this last little bit here. Uh, 56.37 is a good price. So after it did jump up to 58, uh, when was that? Yeah, that was a little bit after midnight last night. Uh, after that, it's been kind of adjusting and bouncing around a little bit. A lot of. A lot of good buying opportunities. Uh, traders probably had a little bit of a blast last night while I was sleeping on my back. Thank you very much. Keep that money moving, folks. Let's go see what Ethereum is doing. People are telling me Ethereum was going to the moon today. Uh, and there's my squeaky chair. Every time I lean on this arm on this chair, it's... Uh, Ethereum is up big time, 11.24%. Uh, <coughs> uh, sitting at $336.91. Uh, high today was $348.04. Oh, that is huge. That's huge, almost 350, so you're looking at 22, 23% increase in uh, since this time yesterday. And it looks like that happened probably 9.30 this morning. It'll sell off a little buyback, and since then, horizontal with a couple little dips. Buy line looks to be $340, and Careful, folks. Um, still holding Ethereum after all this time, and, and never sold it. Never took a nickel out of it to trade it. Um, when it gets up above 350, it gets tempting to. Stick it right into the coin of bit. And then go from there. Um, I could. I could do that. A lot of talk on my Facebook page about a million dollar Bitcoin. Oh God, if that happened. My Lord have mercy, I'd be the king of the world. Uh, Litecoin, how can Litecoin be down if it's at 58.95? Yeah, uh, once again, it's based, it was high last night. Uh, it did hit $60.88, and the peak was way late last night, 10 o'clock, right after we got done the crypto update. Uh, Bitcoin had, a, or Litecoin had a surge. And then a big huge sell off, and then a big huge buyback that lasted all darn day long. And since then, that's a weird pattern. I've never seen a pattern like that. Litecoin is an odd coin, man. I'm telling you, all you guys out there know it too. It's kind of that uncle that's kind of like you really don't understand. You know what I mean? He's like, lives in his own world, and he has like weird hobbies. Like, I don't know, he collects, you know, beer steins or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? That guy, that uncle. The, the weird one. 
he's cool and everything, and you like him. And I love Litecoin, and but I'm not sure Litecoin would want a hug from me, and that's kind of how I feel <laughs> about uh, my uncle. <laughs> Do you hug like horn or you, you just kind of mind your own business and say hi? And nobody knows what to do with like horn. Anyway, uh, relative to this time last night, uh, we're down a couple dollars, but like horn has had a good day and altogether it's up. Up, up, up. Everything's fine. Big buyback. Yeah, people are not going to let Litecoin go below $55. So we're good. And we finally got to the top 10 volume coins. Here we go, folks. I know you've been waiting for this all darn day long. I know you're as excited as I am. I know. I know this is breathtaking entertainment. Addictive crypto updates. I know you want me to do 30 per day, but I can't do that because I do I do have another life outside of it. Yeah, I, um, I poke whitey and I play cards and I also do, sometimes I actually make love with women. I have to go and get alcohol and cigarettes and stuff, you know. Anyway, um... Bitcoin's number one, Ethereum's number two, and the coin of light, who you don't know if you should hug, is number three. Uh, Ripple is number four in volume, having a good day over there at Ripple. Uh, Bitcoin Cash is number five, Monero is sixth, Neo is seventh, Zcash. Uh, Zcash. It's been good to some people over the years, Mr. Zcash. Uh, Dash, Digital Cash, uh, back at it. And uh, when we say, uh, Digital Cash is ninth, and when we say go, slips all the way down to 10th. This is volume I'm referring to. Metaverse, uh, this might be the last time we hear from Metaverse, even though it is still sitting at $3. Um, the volume went ridiculously high and it popped up on the top 10. I was like, well, hello to you. And since then, it's kind of been slipping back into obscurity. Uh, what do you want to take a look at, folks? Um, everybody's in the green except Litecoin. Even though Litecoin is sitting at a very high price relative to what it's been for the past uh, month, two months. I don't know. I don't know what you want. And my friend Diane Andrews, she likes Ripple. Um, so let's go take a closer look at Ripple. Diane's a good friend. We've been hanging out together for a long time on social media. We're kind of like a tag team. Like you don't fuck with her and she'll fuck with you. No, that's not what I meant to say. I meant to say if somebody messes with me, Diane will have my back. If somebody messes with her, I'll have her back. That's what I meant to say. Ripple is up 5.58% and sitting at 25 cents. 25.93 cents. Quarter. Five, five dollar. Uh, Ripple. Um, must have had a bad few days. I really wasn't giving a lot of energy to Ripple because I know it was... It was up to 27 when I was considering buying in. It looks like I'm glad I didn't. Um, so it, it did hit 23.2 cents. That was the low today and the high was 26.6 uh, .6 cents. 
I know that's a little confusing. Uh, but that's the best way I can explain it. It's almost 26 cents, put it that way. And I'll be right back. Um, I have to have an emergency, personal one. And uh, so just kind of hang out here and look at Ripple. I'm sorry, I, I really needed a couple of drags of a cigarette. Oh no, we're running out of battery. We gotta make this fast. Quit screwing around, John. Did you enjoy your ripple break? That's what we'll call them from now on, ripple breaks. <coughs> Alright, here we go. Uh, we already did the, uh, the top 10. Metaverse is the honorable mention. Today's high... Oh, wow, we got it close. No, we don't. Ethereum is the high at 11.6%. And today's... There is no real tanker. Um, Litecoin's kind of breaking even at this point. So we're all good. <coughs> My battery's flashing because I've been stupid and I haven't charged it. Bitcoin's sitting at, in the mid 5600s. Um, peace y'all, I hope y'all have a groovy evening, and a groovy weekend too.